Overhead press, the next most important lift in sports and rehabilitation. Today we're going to analyze this exercise and give more options if you are experiencing any shoulder pain or difficulties doing this lift. Stay tuned to find out. Before you execute the perfect overhead press, you need to set your grip right. And this should be more or less shorter length, with your hands aligned with your elbows. Next, squeeze your glutes, quads and core, and perform the lift with a linear pathway. So, analyzing this exercise, the muscles involved are the pectoral major and anterior delt on the shoulder flexion, triceps on the elbow extension and during the stabilization power on the top the traps more importantly the inferior trap is working to stabilize the bar people really miss out on the stabilization part one of the common errors is to let your bar go way too far to the back of the head you should end in a straight line with the middle of your head to correct this mistake first you shouldn't lift heavier weight than you can right now and second Address your inferior trap and shoulder stabilizer strength with exercises such as band pull-aparts and the, the one that I like to call the three traps because during this motion we are working the upper trap, middle trap and an inferior trap. The next common mistake is lumbar hyperextension or hyperlordosis. This is a physiological curvature of the lumbar spine and this mistake can cause serious damage to your spine when you load too much the bar to correct this mistake you should prepare your body to do a press as i said before squeezing your glutes quads and core to execute the exercise perfectly but sometimes this can happen by simply having less range of motion of shoulder flexion stretching your lats and working on your thoracic spine mobility should improve your problem here are some exercises you can do to work on that mobility now last but not least sometimes the bar path is not linear and this can be multifactorial there can be a lack of strength to perform the lift or you just eagle lifting and putting too much weight on the bar or you just have poor technique and you need to improve your technique by by lessening the weight and trying to do the perfect execution of this exercise as I explained in the beginning of the video. The next factor can be using the momentum to push the bar up. So using momentum is a completely different exercise, it's called the push press. Sometimes when you don't have any strength your, your lumbar spine just hyperextends and tries to push the bar up. And the last would be the lack of shoulder mobility. Your lumbar spine will be compensating the less room in the shoulder flexion. As I said before, for this problem, you can do these exercises to improve your shoulder flexion room and your upper thoracic mobility. Do the exercises, the stretching for 30 to 45 seconds and the mobility exercises, two sets of 20 reps If you are experiencing any pain during the execution of the overhead press, please consult your physiotherapist or use the, these two tips for temporary relief. Do some nice and slow reps just to control the movement overall or switch to a dumbbell overhead press. It permits more external rotation and it follows the physiological overhead elevation of your arms and it gives more stability. That's it. I hope I could help you with these tips. Don't you forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video, comment down below any doubts you have and something you want me to talk about in the next video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram page at Explaining Biomechanics. I post everyday facts about the human body. Don't miss out on this. And see you in the next video. Peace!